Okay, I'm going to show how to uh, how I'm going to how I zero my chucks. I don't have a tripod, and uh, I'll explain it, and then I'll show you the dials when I get done, and uh, we'll go from there. First of all, this is the true bore chuck, and uh, there's four bolts that go in the face here, and they control the pitch of the of the uh, the barrel. They zero. They zero the, the, the plane, and then you have up along the outside here, you have uh, four more that are, act the same as a set true truck that control this position. So you use I use two dial indicators, one up out at the end and one up close to the chamber, and you play with each one. When you adjust one, you affect the other, and you basically seesaw you basically seesaw back and forth until they're both zero. And uh, like right now, I have this plane on zero, but uh, this one is not. And that's the high spot. And I, and I have these marked, I have it at one, so one is the high spot, which means three will be low. And when I'm first doing it, I, uh, I'll, loosen the I'll loosen the high side a little. And then I like to re-zero my gauge on the high side. And then. and then when I tighten it, I tighten it to ha half the distance. So if it, like right there, it was one thousandth out. So I tightened it by half a thousandth. And there I hit it perfect. But now, the end is three and a half. And this is the high spot, so I'm actually going to loosen that again a little bit. I let basically loosen it about a third. Then I'll go all the way around again, see where zero's at, and then I'll uh, check it again. And now I'll tighten this one. I'm not saying this is the right way, but this is the way I do them. I, I, I did it before I had the true, true bore chuck, and I tried doing their way for the true bore, and I just don't like it, so I pissed around just as much with it this way. I pissed around with it more their way. Basically, I'm about half of a half. These are half thousandths gauges. Now that was zero. And now we normally this one's about half of what that was, and basically you seesaw it and then you get there. If you're smarter, you probably could guess right the first time, but I don't guess. I just do it.
And see now it fall the high spot's fallen in between two, so then you turn both of them a little. And now that's ended up on two. Okay, now we're perfect. And the other end, it's pretty much right. You end up cutting it in a half about each time. And so now we're two and a half. And it's right in between, so I'll basically do three quarters and three quarters loosening. And then spinner and see what we got. And there I just hit her, it just barely smoothed the needle. And now we're down to one on the uh, this one. And it's going to fall right in between, so. piss with this until you get them zero and uh, I'll show now so basically now you can see that that one is zero but now that I've got this that one dialed in we're getting really really close The lights being a pain. Okay, see, so we're just over one, and yeah, one and a half or so on that end. So I'm going to uh, finish it out, and then I'll show you that zero. Like I say, basically. This changes the plane as it sits like this. And these screws adjust the wobble like this. And you just play with them both till both gauges read zero. Then the bore is spinning on the center line. So Okay, back. It literally only took a couple minutes and a couple more goes, but so there you have that. Just a slight wind quiver. Again, these are uh, 10,000 or half thousand gauges. As close to zero as you can get. 357 AR. Again, like I say, this is the true board chuck. That's what I do. I didn't time this one. We'll see what the video is, but uh, shows nine minutes on here, so. It took me another two, so I'm in the ballpark. It typically takes me 15 minutes to put a barrel in and zero it, and then I chamber it. So hope it helps. Hope you learned something.